parents and elementary students and families. My name is Mrs. Patty Guthrie and I work with our reading program at Spanaway Middle School. I want to say welcome and we are so excited to have you with us next year, fifth graders. So my position is funded through the Learning Assistance Program through the State of Washington. It is commonly referred to as LAP, so I'm a LAP teacher. At Spanaway Middle School, we have a great LAP team to work with every student to try to strengthen reading skills any way we can. We do an after-school tutoring program that any student is welcome to join. And we're looking at doing some really fun things. We have a book club right now and hope to keep that going. We also are going to do some really fun reading incentive programs. So no matter how strong your reading is, we want to help you grow it stronger so that you are set up for success in middle school, high school, college and career, and beyond that. We know that growing your reading grows your brain, and we want you to be strong, lifelong learners. Thompson Elementary students, we can't wait to see you next year. Hey fifth graders, this is Miss Wilhoit from Spanaway Middle School and I just want to wish all of you a really big congratulations as you graduate from Thompson and move over to Spanaway Middle School. We cannot wait to have you in our classes. I can't wait to have you singing with me. I hope you have a wonderful summer and feel really proud of all that you've accomplished. Can't wait to get you back to Spanaway. Good morning Thompson graduates. My name is Mrs. Racy and um, I'm one of the science teachers at Spanaway Middle School. We're looking forward to having you and uh, having a great year in science. Hi, this is Mr. Milton from Spanaway Middle School and I teach humanities and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you next year. Congratulations on your promotion today and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year. Hi, my name is Ochumba. I'm 18 years old and I'm soon to be graduating from Spanaway Lake High School. This year, I'll be going to Central Washington University, and I'm going to study criminal justice and psychology. I also will be a part of a military program, and it's okay, it's not as scary as it sounds. I was once a fifth grader, too, at Thompson Elementary, and felt the way a lot of you probably feel. But I've attended elementary, middle school, high school, and am now preparing for a new transition like you guys that I'm nervous about, too. Here are a few things to remember. You are capable. You are not too dumb to join a class. You are not too slow to take part in sport, and you're not too shy to join a club. All of you can do it, even if it's brand new to you. Middle school is your chance to find out what you truly love and what makes you happy, and what you're going to choose to fight for in the end, so you'll be able to carry out all that beautiful knowledge into high school. Also, remember you do not have to change yourself for anyone, whether that's your skin, your hair, or the way you dress, or what you're passionate about, because that's what makes you all unique. The things you say or do right now, and in the future matters. Don't be hateful and keep your ears open for new opinions that might be different from yours because it'll make the strong minds you have now even stronger later. All of you guys are capable and can do anything you put your mind to. Hey Thompson, fifth graders, 2B Spanaway Middle School sixth graders. I'm Mr. Jurgens. I teach sixth grade humanities at Spanaway Middle School and I'm saying welcome to Spanaway and hope you have a good summer, and we'll see you in September. Grand Lake High School. After I graduate, I'm gonna be attending Arizona State University to study to be a labor and delivery nurse. Um, all throughout high school, I was involved through FCC Lay and Upward Bound. Um, I know middle school is going to be a new step. It's one of the biggest steps, I think, because you're transferring from elementary to middle school. So you're kind of starting to be older now. But just take this time as a time to really find yourself and who you want to be and develop those friendships because now you're going to be starting to meet new people and that friendship is going to continue to high school. Um, just know that any time that you feel down, just know that you can do it and that everything all these teachers and everyone around you is here to support you. Speak to your counselor, speak to your advisor, speak to your friends. Everyone is there to help you during these difficult times. And just know that everyone is rooting for you guys. Hello, fifth graders. Here it is, the final step of your elementary journey. We have taught you, we have helped you, we have inspired you, and you have taught, inspired, and helped us in the time that you've been here at Thompson. 
I am so proud that for many of you, I have been principal since you were in kindergarten all the way till now leaving fifth grade. Over the years, we've done lots of different messages for you. We've told you to be bold. We've told you to work hard and play hard. We've told you to do your best to do your best, have stamina, have focus. But most importantly, we have told you to not have any excuses, no excuses. And what that means for now at the end of fifth grade is, and my final message to you as your principal is, take no excuses to be you. You are good enough. You are smart enough. You are hardworking enough. You are enough if you just be you for the rest of your life. I thank you, I thank your families, and I thank you for the amazing memories that you have given me as your principal, and I hope the memories that you have had over the course of your elementary career. So remember, as you go into sixth grade, as you go into high school, and as you go to college and careers, be you, you are enough. Goodbye.